The country's opposition movement marked Friday as Children's Day, a tribute to the dozens of young people who have died since demonstrations began in March. But the focus, says Neil Sammons of the human rights group Amnesty International, is one death, that of 13-year-old Hamza al-Khatib, who died under mysterious circumstances. So he's one of 30 or more children who have died in the protests so far. All of them believed to have been shot by the security forces, but in his case, most tragically and horrifically, he appears to have been tortured to death. Hamza al-Khatib disappeared during an April protest, where the government says he was shot and killed. But the opposition says marks on his body, which was returned to his family in May, show that the boy was tortured. Unverified videos that appear to show his body have been posted on the website YouTube, and the images have stoked fury in Syria. Speaking Thursday, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton also voiced her regret. The tragedy of the young boy, uh, Hamza Ali al-Khatib, uh, symbolizes for many people uh, around the world, uh, the total collapse of any effort by the Assad uh, government to uh, work with their own people. The government denies that Khatib was tortured and says it will investigate his death. Nonetheless, Hammond says his image could become a rallying point for Syria's opposition. If we compare that with Tunisia, people have talked a lot about how uh, the case of Mohamed Bouazizi, the Tunisian street vendor of vegetables after he'd set himself alight. The Tunisian protests went, you know, almost like wildfire very quickly through the country, including to the capital, Tunis, in just a matter of weeks. That hasn't happened yet, but perhaps through this very sad case of Hamza, we may see a move towards some kind of tipping point for change in Syria. The government of President Bashar al-Assad has made concessions this week, freeing hundreds of prisoners in an amnesty and setting up a committee for national dialogue. But the country's exiled opposition, meeting this week in Turkey, said Mr. Assad should step down immediately. They vowed Thursday to work to bring down his government. Their effort may be boosted by the symbolic power of Khatib's death, but it's not likely to be enough to bring down the government, says David Hartwell at the IHS Jane's Analysis Group in London. If uh, Khatib's uh, death was going to spark off a, a, a national uprising, if you like, it probably would have done so by now. Um, I think what is what remains the key is the sentiment on the street in Damascus, particularly, um, and the ability of the regime to keep the um, the, the sources of, of protest and the sources of discontent separate from each other. If it can do that, then it should be able to, um, uh, to, to crack down fairly successfully. With more deaths reported in Syria Friday, it's yet unclear how severe that crackdown will be. Selah Hennessy for VOA News, London.